Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. We're going to talk about why for a positive definite, definite symmetric matrix, so I suppose it's a positive definite symmetric matrix, we actually have a matrix B that you can write it in, in this form. You can decompose a positive definite symmetric matrix this way, like B, T, B, B. Why is that? Um, well, in the previous videos, we talked about how we could actually, um, if we go to diagonalize a matrix, back for a minute, we'll just write this as P inverse like this. Um, and you're getting all the eigenvalues right here, or eigenvectors, you're getting all the eigenvectors here. The eigenvalues are here, eigenvectors are here. Now, in a previous video, we talked about how we can actually get all the eigenvectors to be orthogonal to each other. You can even make them orthonormal to each other. So their dot products are all zeros, except for the dot products with themselves are ones. That actually enables um, this P inverse right here to actually be the transpose, because the transpose will be the inverse in that, in that situation, which means that, any, that um, any symmetric matrix is actually orthogonally diagonalizable. There is a matrix P which, um, um, so that it's um, transposes its inverse, kind of nice deal here going on. Um, now, if, it's, if A is positive definite, that means that D is a, is a diagonal matrix with just positive values down. So we could rewrite this as we multiply both sides by P on this, so P on this side, and then PT on this side. Notice these cancel because they're inverses of each other. Then you get A is equal to this, all right? Um, okay, if A is equal to P, D, P, T, then we can write, since D is a diagonal matrix with positive entries, um, it, if you take the square root of all the entries down, um, down the diagonal um, and multiply it to itself, so we'll just call that the square root of the matrix D. Okay, so if you have a matrix D and you have like A, B, C going down, um, if you just took this matrix right here, multiplied it to this one, right, multiplied it across, you get A, B, C going down the diagonal. So we can actually split this up into two parts, which is kind of nice. And this is its own, this is symmetric, it's its own transpose. So, um, in, and notice what we get. If we label this as B, what is its transpose? Its transpose is going to be reverse the order, taking the transpose of each part, and you end up getting P squared of D. Hey, that's that's that right there. So we just we just did it. Thanks for watching.